Traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, is a load of garbage that I've criticized several times in the past for having no real resemblance to actual medicine that works, or AMW, I guess. So you can imagine my surprise last week when I read a headline claiming ancient Chinese medicine outright blocks sperm from egg. Knowing what we know about TCM and knowing what we know about China's notorious population control problem, uh, this one raised a number of red flags for me. According to the article, researchers at UC Berkeley identified several compounds found in plants that stop a sperm from wiggling its little tail hard enough to reach an egg to fertilize it. Uh, one of those compounds, lupiol, is found in mangoes and dandelion coffee, neither of which has ever been used for anything related to contraception or sex. Unless you're super into mango play, I guess, and then obviously it does. Uh, but according to the article, the other compound is pristimerin, which is found in the thunder god vine that TCM customers have known to take for contraception. Uh, I read this study which didn't mention TCM at all, so I was confused until I found a press release from UC Berkeley, which was apparently the start of all of the articles about this. Uh, it was clearly written by someone hoping to catch some eyeballs with a flashy headline, which is what people in public relations are paid to do, so no hate, I guess. And it worked, because the news definitely got around. The problem is that it's incredibly misleading. Uh, Thunder God Vine is a very interesting plant with a lot of interesting compounds that have interesting capabilities that a lot of scientists are studying right now. One of the nice things about folk medicine is that if enough people take a substance over a long enough time, you can start to see patterns that emerge. So for instance, a lot of people chewing on willow bark, some of them showed that it had pain relief properties, so scientists were able to isolate and perfect aspirin. Thunder God Vine is actually most often used for rheumatoid arthritis, not for contraception, because it has some anti-inflammatory properties. But some women who took it long term found that it actually stopped them from having periods, which of course can make pregnancy extremely difficult. And some men taking it long term found that it decreased their sperm count, which ditto. Uh, that doesn't make it a reliable form of birth control at all. Uh, and it does not, of course, go along with the headline that ancient Chinese medicine stops sperm from reaching egg. Um, but it does show some interesting properties that scientists wanted to study. And so when the researchers did manage to isolate this particular compound, they found that it stopped sperm from wiggling their little tails at the point where they need to push through a bunch of cells in order to reach the egg to fertilize it. And by isolating that compound and studying it more, they might be able to come up with a reliable form of birth control using either that hormone or lupial, which again is found in things that no one ever suspected could be contraceptive because this isn't actually about traditional Chinese medicine. This is about some compounds that do a really interesting thing that could have interesting uh, future applications for humans. So that's exciting doesn't deliver on the promise that the headline made. To make matters worse, the press release goes on to completely screw up its description of what Plan B birth control is. Uh, they claim that Plan B works by stopping a fertilized egg from implanting, which is not true. Uh, Plan B prevents fertilization of the egg by preventing the egg from even traveling down the fallopian tube in the first place. There is a hypothesis that if the egg has already traveled down and gets fertilized, Plan B might stop it from uh, implanting, but that's not its primary mode of birth control. That's just something spread around by people who want to outlaw contraception because they think that a fertilized egg is life and therefore abortion. Um, so this press release is actually feeding into the religious rights bullshit. And that really sucks, especially for something coming out of a university. Uh, it's unfortunate 
too that the that the press release chooses to focus on TCM because in my opinion the way more interesting finding is that the researchers figured out something that might stop a woman who wants to conceive from actually conceiving uh, they found that both testosterone and hydrocortisone interfere with progesterone, which is the hormone that tells the sperm to start hustling in order to push through those uh, cells to the fertilized egg. And so uh, because of that, a woman who is very stressed out and starts producing those hormones uh, might have more trouble conceiving than a woman who isn't stressed out. So that is good, interesting science with a lot of potential future applications. It's just a shame that UC Berkeley's PR department decided to go for completely inaccurate clickbait and lend credence to TCM, which frankly is just dangerous malarkey.